Wow, it's always really cool when I get a chance to sit down with another woman entrepreneur who's doing really positive things in the community and making waves. So I had a chance to sit down with Honeybee Natural founder, Aisha Gaines, and she is an inspiration, but she's also a hoot. I think you'll love her. Stay tuned. I started Honeybee Natural because when I first went natural, um, I went to the blog, like a lot of people do, and mm -hmm. the information was great, it was wonderful, but it was in so many different places, and it was like, okay, I gotta go to this website to get this, and this website to get that, and it was just a lot. Um, so since I have a journalism background, I figured it would be a cool idea to kind of take all that information and put it into a publication. So that was one of my initial reasons why. People like it, they kind of appreciate having their actual picture there and the products and oh, she shouted me out. So um, it turned into more than what I had ever imagined it to turn into, um, but it's a good thing. I had a friend of mine who had a natural hair expo. Her name is Crystal Thompson. Um, her blog is Natural World, natural World for Four Girls. She had her first expo and she asked me to come. And I was like, oh, I'm coming. You know, I'll be there to support you, whatever you, my girl. You know. Well, on the way there, I had a clipboard of some ideas for my green sheet type magazine in the front seat. And I had those because she had mentioned, like, write down some of your ideas and thoughts and plans. I just want to, you know, kind of hear what they are. So um, she ended up having a segment called I Have a Dream. So it was for any audience member who had a dream. You had to get up on her platform in front of everyone and share what your dream was. And so I got up there and I was like, hi, I'm Aisha. I'm like, hi, Aisha. Like, a hey, meeting. Like, I have a dream. You have a dream. The lady was like, well, hey, like, you need models. Like, do you need a photographer? And do you need, and I'm like, why do I need all those things? Well, you're starting a magazine, right? And I'm like, am I? Like, <laughs> is that what I'm doing? Okay, all right. And so she's like, yeah, and like, when is this gonna come out? And I'm like, at this point in September 2012. Yes, September 2012. So when is this coming out? I don't know. And so she's like, well, I would like to see it by January. Like January 2013? Okay. I'll accept your challenge. And that's what happened. And so I rallied up some software, called my tech guy in my school, like help me learn how to do this. Um, Cause you need InDesign, you need those publishing softwares. Like you need to know how to manipulate those programs. I need to know what to do. And he showed me what to do. And by January, we were having our launch party. Don't think about it too long. Because I feel like that's the number one killer of dreams is time. People just, just waste so much time thinking about how you're going to do it. You don't know how you're going to do it. You know, if it was that easy, then you would already know how to do it. Um, just don't think about it too long. I would say find someone locally that does what you want to do and find someone nationally that knows something about what you want to do. And hit up both of them. Email them. The hell out of them until somebody responds. And if that doesn't work, then find another local person, find another national person, and email them so they can give you at least step one. And at least take step one, i.e. making a Facebook page, getting on social media, that can set you straight. Because that's what happened with us. That day after that event, the day of that event actually, that night I went and set up a Facebook page, didn't have a name yet. Typed up my little email, so all the people like, hey, I appreciate you for your support, blah, blah, blah. And it's just, you know, just don't even think about it too long. That, I mean, literally, because it's literally what happened. And I mean, I'm pretty sure that dream I had um, kind of gave me that extra oomph. You know, you have a dream and then, you know, almost three years later, like, the dream has come to pass. Um, I feel like those are signs and I feel like we just overlook things like that all the time in life. Like, we'll have a thought about, like, huh, I feel like I should... And then we'll move on to something else. I feel like that's your internal spirit or whatever you want to call it, telling you, you know, that you need to kind of shift some parts or some aspects of your life. So She's reaching so many people, so many lives just by the stories that she has in it. It's not all about, she, she focuses around natural hair like it's supposed to be, but it's, it's a life changer. It's a life movement. 
because she focuses around the lives of people that have went through, you know, the struggles and things of that nature. So she focuses, she's a real rounded person, so she makes sure that the magazine says the same. So with this, I, this magazine is, 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 is taking off. The number one thing, you will be inspired because you will see so many black women, black men pursuing their dreams. That's the number one compliment that I always get. If we forget about to write articles about hair, if we forget to write about fashion, we always have some type of entrepreneur in there that's pursuing their dreams.